fun science video for you. I'm gonna do something kind of fun, kind of cool. So I have some dry ice left over here. It's on the table. Check it out, by the way, isn't that cool? It's kind of like doing that little funky thing that it does where it's kind of spreading out. You can also see it kind of just stays. It goes, as it starts to go through sublimation, you can see it kind of spreading out and going onto the table. So that's kind of cool. But I'm gonna take some of this and uh, I'm gonna put it in this, this little thing right here. This is called a mortar and a pestle. And I'm gonna bang this dry ice. I'm gonna put it, it just works a little better if I put this into powder. And what I thought would be kind of fun, I thought it'd be kind of fun to fill a balloon, you know, fill a balloon with dry ice instead of filling it with air. So I'm gonna put this little funnel in here and I'm gonna take this dry ice that I just made small. And I'm gonna shake it down here into this balloon, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and seal the balloon cool thing about dry ice, as you know, is that dry ice, it will go directly from a solid to a what? Go ahead and write your answer down on that piece of paper. What, what's it going to do? It's going to go from a solid to a what? Okay. So go ahead and write down your answer. Okay. So it's kind of a cool thing. Hopefully, you were able to write down that it'll go from a solid directly to a gas. It doesn't really stop in the liquid phase. It goes directly to a gas. That sounds like I'm in a Marachi, you know, like Mexican in a Marachi band. You know. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is check out the balloon. It's filling. Because I've got it sealed. So as the solid CO2 is going to a gas CO2, it's filling this balloon up, not with air, but with CO2. Now, I'm going to take, while this one continues to fill, I'm going to take this balloon, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and just fill it with air, okay? So you gotta remember, if you wanna write this down in your paper, you gotta remember that green is filled with air. The green is air. And the pink, pink, okay, so we can see, got the air one right over there. There's the pink, there's the green one, that's air, all right? Perhaps what we can do, and, the, and if we watch this one again, this one right here, as you can see, it's still, it's still got some dry ice in there. It's got a little bit of dry ice still in there, okay? And what I'm gonna do here real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and write air. I'm gonna go ahead and write air. On this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and write air, okay? Air. So we don't, so we don't get confused. So if you have colored pencils, you know, you can draw a balloon and you can color one of your balloons green. Okay, and on this one, we're gonna write down dry ice. Dry ice, okay? So dry ice, Still shaking it up there. And that's kind of fun. And we're gonna do one other quick thing. I'll let you, I'm gonna set this one here so you can kind of see it continuing to get a little bit bigger. All right. And 
Sorry, I had to go grab something real quick. I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna also put some of the dry ice down here in this beaker. And this is gonna help us for a later, a later observation. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of help us with something that we need to kind of grasp and understand. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to, I want you to make a prediction, okay? So you can see when I set these two right by side each other here, you can kind of see that the green one is bigger. The green one's bigger, okay? But bigger in what, you know? What is it, what is it bigger in, you know? And can you put a word on your paper that's better than it's bigger? What is it bigger, what is it bigger in? You know, what is it bigger in? And if you can't figure that out, you wanna to try to figure that out. All right, but you could see that it's 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 bigger, and, and uh, I've got almost all. You can barely hear that now. Almost all of that solid CO2, almost all of it, has uh, sublimated or gone to that gas. But I'm gonna do one other quick thing here. I'm gonna go grab something real quick. So. Why we're waiting for that? Why we're waiting for that to finish? Okay. I thought it'd be fun to do one other thing that maybe we'll ponder later. Because I thought we might ponder something a little later. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is while we're waiting for that to finish up there. Okay, I thought we'd show you one other fun thing with this. So here's a, I'm gonna slide this candle here. Okay. And I've been putting, okay, I've been putting, this has got dry ice and some of the dry ice in here. It's hard for you to grasp this, but I'm just gonna tell you this. This dry ice, when it's turned into a gas, it's not leaving this beaker. It's, it's not doing that. It's actually filling this beaker. And what does carbon dioxide do to a flame? Do you know? Maybe write down your thought on that. What, what does carbon dioxide do to a flame? Write down your idea. Okay. Well, if you still haven't written something, maybe pause it until you got something written. But dry ice, all right, what it's made of, if you know what it's made of, you would know that it's made of carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide will put out a flame. So water will put out a flame. So if I had water in this beaker, I could pour this beaker out, right? And when I poured it out, it should put out the candle if I have water in it. Well, if I'm right and the CO2 is not leaving the beaker as it's turning into it, I should be able to take the beaker, pour out the beaker right onto the candle and I should be able to pour out the CO2 onto, well, let's do this. Let's make it a little bit, I need a little bit more CO2 in there, so I'm gonna make it go a little faster, okay? Should be able to pour out I'm having a little trouble with that, so I'm gonna let it, I think I need to let it build up a little bit more. Sometimes science is fun and sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you're thinking it's gonna do. So I'm gonna let that build up a little bit, I'm heating it up a little bit to make it go into that process a little bit faster. I might need a little bit more of it. That might be part of the problem. Well, we're gonna try this. Hopefully we'll get enough build up. And I, you see, I, there's no water. I just poured out CO2. <laughs> That's cool. Well, the reason it does that, all right, has to do with a concept that we got to understand about carbon dioxide and about um we're going to learn more about that later but here's what i want you to do right now all right if i drop this balloon with air 
and I drop this balloon with dry ice. Okay. You can hear it's all gone. All the solid is pretty much gone now. All right. So what is going to happen if I drop this one? Now remember, look at this. This one is bigger. This one is smaller. If I drop them, what's going to happen? So you make a hypothesis about that. Okay, you make a hypothesis. And if you're wrong on your hypothesis, if you end up being wrong, you need to write in your notes which one actually drops faster. All right, so one of them is going to drop faster. If I drop them at the same height, one of them is going to hit the floor faster. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of turn this a little bit so that it's a little easier, hopefully, to see this. Okay. And I'm going to try to help make it so that you can actually see me and the floor. And I'm going to drop them on the count of three. I'm going to say three, two, one. Which one's going to hit the floor fast? faster? Is the one with air going to hit the floor faster or the one with CO2? Here we go. Let's, let's check it out. Three, two, one, drop. That's so cool. Like, did you see how much faster the pink balloon went with the dry ice that's inside of it, with the CO2 inside of it? Man, that thing was so much faster. That's cool stuff. It's really, really, really cool stuff. Why did it do that? All right. We're going to be starting to solve some of these things as we start our school year. We're not ready to solve that yet but I wanted to do some science on the first couple days so that you got a chance to get excited about science. So that's kind of where we're heading and where we're going. Science is fun. Have a great day and we'll talk to you later.